No, that's not big enough. No, that's not big enough either. That's more like it. Oh, hi there. I'm Dr. Elemental from the Mad Lab Picture Show. And I am so glad I have found you. I would love to tell you about this amazing Indiegogo for Seven Guests, the series. It's about this old cult video game from the 90s. Find the new house. And, oh, um, I, I don't know what just happened there, but anyway. Um, okay, well, as I was saying, it's about this cult video game from the 90s, which was really old man stuff. Found the new house. Um, okay. That was creepy. Um, maybe I shouldn't talk about this anymore. Um, let's hear from the creators of the old game and the new series. <laughs> yeah. My name is John Johnson, and a little bit of history on me. I've made at this point about 168 films, uh, ranging from about 30 feature films, uh, web series, short films, television series. The one I'm the most popular for is a movie called Plan 9, which gets released in the US uh, in 2016, but I think is already available in Australia and the Middle East now. has been quarantined. No one leaves this sector alive. So, how I got involved. I, uh, I like to, well, we'll say it's a dark and stormy night. I like to surround my things with things that inspire me, uh, visuals and, and things of that nature. So I uh, went online looking for a Seventh Guest picture because Seventh Guest, like many of us, inspired me at a very young age in, in filmmaking. Uh, even being to the point where I made a fan film in, I believe, 1995 on VHS for a student film. Uh, we won't talk too much about that one. But yeah, I was, I was a, a diehard fan for the, the comedy and the horror and the kind of classic yet uh, new feel of horror that it, that it gave, kind of the from the tongue-in-cheek stuff to really really dark uh, material, I it was exactly what I wanted to do. So it was a huge inspiration for me. So I wanted to find a screenshot for my desktop. And as I was scrolling I found that there were these, uh, there was a Kickstarter. We actually launched a campaign on Kickstarter to fund a third a sequel um, game uh, and that actually did not succeed. Which got me really really excited and I was bummed to find out that it didn't come to fruition. Uh, so I didn't want it all to end yet and I didn't know what their next plan was. And out of the blue, as these things happen, I get a call or email or something from uh, John Johnson from Darkstone Entertainment. Uh, who expressed an interest in doing a, a web series. Or kind of a television series, about uh, 10 episodes, about 20, 25 minutes each episode. So, like a television series, but designed to be released online. Yeah, he, uh, we talked and I thought he was a great guy and uh, we got along real well, so we said, let's go ahead and let's let's have you do this, John. <laughs> I think you did a good job. So, uh, you know, I came on as producer, I consult with him on the storylines and uh, uh, but he's doing most of the you know, work in the production, the writing, and the whole thing. As he does, he's, he's written and produced, uh, gosh, I don't know how many. Now I knew that I wanted to do this as a sequel to the original games, and so this one would be modern and kind of a continuation of the story. Um, but we needed those original players to be involved to kind of keep that feeling and design together. Because I think if you lose any of those elements, uh, it isn't quite Seventh Guest, it's just something with a, a title on it. And so I wanted to bring back the, the original band. 
uh, starting with Rob Landeros, uh, and he has been overseeing all the story ideas, and, and I've been working closely with him on how to present the, the show and, and working that way. He's the executive producer of the show now. Secondly was, of course, Robert Hirschbeck, the Stoff, Henry Stoff. Uh, it just wouldn't be the same without him, and so I uh, spoke with him, kind of gave him some ideas about what I wanted to do, and got him involved in the teaser, and of course in the show uh, that's coming. Last but not least is George Sanger, aka The Fat Man, uh, who did those incredible theme songs from the first two games, uh, and it just wouldn't feel right doing the new series without those themes. So Seventh Guest the Series is a sequel and not a retelling of the uh, original games. It is a continuation. Uh, and so there's a lot of new faces. We are announcing two of the new seven guests uh, in this video. One being Meg Turney, uh, uh, kind of a very popular YouTuber. It is so exciting to be one of the guests in the new series because I love this game. I never shut up about these games, the Seventh Guest and the Eleventh Hour. I've written about them in articles, I've put them in videos, I've played them time and time and time again. So it's just really, really cool to get to be a part of the game's history in some small way. And then Matthew Ewald, who uh, was known for being on a Fox Kids show, Galador. There is no greater joy than to love something so deeply since childhood and then to find out that you are going to be a part of it, to be a part of the legacy, the games, to be a continuation of a story, have it be canon, official. Hi, I'm back, and I'm here to show you what you've all been waiting for. The teaser trailer for Seventh Guest, the series. That's right. It's gonna give you a little bit of the story, just a little bit, and it's also spiced with clowns, cake, and chuck soup. So, what are we waiting for? Oh, don't forget to check out that blonde. Here we go. Are you sure this is with the smart? It took over 30 deaths in this asylum before they decided to shut it down. And then last year, the renovation crew helped hire to fix this up for some grand reopening. They all disappeared. If there was ever a challenge of the paranormal, this is it. I get that, I do, but there's got to be a better way for us to investigate the paranormal that doesn't involve us getting rid of rights. On the other side of this property, there was a mansion neighboring the Belasco Institution. They called it the Stoff Mansion. It burned down in the 90s, but it had its own history, too. It just seems like the very land we're standing on is cursed. God damn it. Come on. Adventure. So where next? Jail? Or do you want to make a stop somewhere else first? We have to find the perfect place.
calling any lingering spirits in this place. Can you hear me? I wish to know why you are trapped here. Can you speak with us? Do you know why you are trapped here? Is something keeping you trapped here? Is someone keeping you here? Who's keeping you here? Stuff? Like the mansion? Jada? Oh no, Stouff found a new house. I'm filled it with his toys. Seven new guests will be invited one night. Their screams. <laughs> the only There'll be blood inside the library. Blood right up the walls. <laughs> Dear guests, try not to fall. No one, not one, will come out this night. Not one will ever be seen. But old man Stout will be waiting there. Go ahead, try to warn them, Jada. Indeed, I'll be counting on it. On you. Do be sure to come back. Come back to me. Bring around the road. Pockets full of posies. And now, on with the show. And so I have been honored with taking over the, the third installment uh, in a different medium, but it is considered to be canon. And so as a furthering of the storyline of the original games, I will also be charged with answering some of the questions that we had left behind from the original games. I hope a lot of people view it, and uh, it'll be easier, a lot easier watching, it'll be a lot easier to try to solve the puzzles in the game. <laughs> so <laughs> people get a lot more story, and they get a lot more familiar, I think, with the, you know, the story of stuff and the characters and what happened, on the, not only in the original night, but you know, you know what happens in the current story. And it will, uh, uh, the original, some of the original uh, themes uh, maybe answer some questions that were left hanging from the original story that weren't quite clear by the end of some guests. And I want to keep it to the fans as well, because uh, I'm a fan just like all the others, so why not get questions from them 
What questions do they have about the games that they'd like to have answered? I will try to answer as many of these questions as I can. Of course, with Rob Landros and his original design uh, as well. As well as being a contributor where you can get some of the perks and become one of the guests and uh, act in the show and watch the video logs and t-shirts and posters and all those cool things that come with the movie, at least that I love. We also are doing uh, investors because we do hope that the series will be sold and will make money uh, in the process. And so the reason why we're doing Indiegogo versus Kickstarter, Kickstarter is only contributor based where Indiegogo, you can have private investors as well as contributor base. Uh, and we've already got some private investors involved. One way or another, the show is definitely happening. It's not going to not happen. I can't wait to see what old man Stoff has in store. Not just for me, but for all of you. I think it's so cool that such a unique game series like The Seventh Guest is coming to a web series because there was full motion video in the game. It was actually one of the first games or the first game that had full motion video. It was right as that was breaking in. It was very groundbreaking in that aspect and uh, I think that this just furthers that. It has such a unique story and it has such an amazing robust story to tell and it tells it in little snippets in the game but now we'll be able to really flesh out that story and, and really dive into this mansion and this maniac and all of the dark, twisted, awesome stuff that he came up with. The first game was rather closed, uh, you know, within the house and uh, limited to you know, what you could do in terms of story. Eleventh Hour, the sequel, opened it up. There was a lot of stuff that happened out, you know, in the real world and most of the action came back. Yeah, this one will open up even farther. So there will be seven new guests one night. Their screams the only noise. <laughs> chills just thinking about it. And I'm really excited about this. I mean, Stoff has built a new house, and I hope you get to come visit. Hi! <laughs> Thanks for watching. And don't forget to check out the perks down below and contribute. Um, because if we go past our goal, we can make the series all that much more better. <laughs> Did you just donate? I can start making the movie right now. Wait, action. And now folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.